Hello, today I'm going to show you how to mount a disc brake on a disc brake unicycle. I've assembled this QX disc brake unicycle so far, as you can see in other, other YouTube videos, and now I'm going to mount the brake. Have a look how. First, you take the brake lever mount, which comes with every QX disc unicycle, and already put the brake lever on. In this case, it's a Shimano XT uh, disc brake, but you might take every other bicycle disc brake. The handle brake will come this way under the saddle and I'd advise you to first put the brake handle on the lever mount because you might not access this screw later when it's under the saddle. So adjust it approximately how you think you'd like to have it and later on you might be needing to take the lever mount off and adjust the brake again, the brake lever. Screw it on gently. You don't need to lock it very, very much because in case you fall, it's better to have it a bit loose and the lever will, will move instead of break. So now we're going to mount this under the saddle. For this, it'll mount this way. So first, just go and take these two front screws out of the bumper. Including the washers. Then you put it on like this. And through the screens again. So far for the brake lever, as you can see, that's mounted now. Now you're going to mount the caliper. This first, take out the spacer, which is in the brake and prevents the pads from going out without uh, the brake being mounted. Keep it for later because if you transfer your unicycle without uh, the wheel, you should put this in the brake again to be sure that uh, the adjustments don't get wrong. So then you wrap it around the seat tube once or twice as you need. If you need to shorten the gorge, have a look at our other videos and you'll see we have some of these. And then you will see the disc has to go in between here from that side of course, but you can look through here to have it just in between the two brake pads. You have a little accessory box for the Shimano brakes and therein you'll also find two screws to fix the caliper, five millimeter allen screws and then just slip it onto the disc and put in the two 5mm Allen screws. As there is some paint on the frame still, this can sometimes be a bit hard. Make sure though that the threads are properly in the frame 
and you're not destroying the threads. And now the caliper is mounted. Clip the little cable clips on the gorge. So far, so the disc brake is now mounted to adjust it. Have a look here at your brake. In this case, you can see that the brake pad on the left side is actually touching the disc. To adjust it, just open the screws a little bit and you'll be able to move the caliper in a way to have a proper distance at the left and at the right of the brake pad. Then just fix it again and it'll be rub free. Thanks for your attention and enjoy your ride with your Disc Muni.